I'm George Galloway, Member of Parliament, anti-war campaigner and presenter of comment on Press TV. Every week at this time, people ask me questions at hashtag Ask Galloway, and you've been flooding me with them this week, that's for sure. But the best one, the one that we have chosen at least, is this from Naka Alksraji, who asks, what are your thoughts on Ferguson, Missouri, and what are the similarities between the shooting of Mike Brown and the shooting in London of Mark Duggan? It's a very good question because it illustrates the extent to which the United States is ready to gun down any of its citizens, but especially if they are black. And under a black president, that is a pretty sorry state of affairs. And President Obama's presidency is sinking towards disgrace. And the response of the US government to the acquittal of the killer of Mike Brown is equally shameful. And it wasn't only Mike Brown. Another 12-year-old boy was shot dead within a second of police drawing up in their patrol car because he was carrying a toy gun of the kind I myself used to carry around the streets of Scotland many, many years ago. Shot dead, but he was shot dead in a country awash with guns and awash with trigger-happy police officers who were ready to kill at the drop of a hat without a single word of warning. Now, the Mark Duggan case in London was remarkably similar to the killing of Mike Brown. Mark Duggan was a young black man with a troubled background, a troubled history, who was traveling in the back of a taxi cab in North London in the borough of Haringey. He was shot dead too with hardly a word spoken. And then, having been slain, was slandered as having been carrying a weapon at the time. Then they said he'd thrown the weapon away, but actually no weapon could possibly have been thrown away by him. So I'm afraid that on both sides of the Atlantic, black people who were, of course, only in this part of the world because, well, we took them as slaves and took them to the United States of America, although they're freed from slavery, are not freed from bigotry and discrimination. They're not free from the danger of being gunned down by the forces of law and order. So the next time you find yourself walking down the road with a black fellow behind you and you get uneasy or anxious, just remember that the black man has more reason to be afraid of you than you do to be afraid of him. I'm George Galloway. Hashtag Ask Galloway. We'll pick the best of the questions every week.